been uh, quite challenging. Yeah, and it's the rain does not seem to. No, I mean the whole expedition has been quite challenging. Ah, uh, that was very good, um, very nice, but very tough. Riding was really tough. Yeah, very exhausting. It's more like enduro riding rather than tri riding. Right, exactly. <laughs> Uh, then mostly bad weather, okay, which means that yeah. every morning yeah. you wake up with wet, and wet boots and yeah. we have to put wet socks in wet boots. Even morning. that's even more true at the very beginning of the trip, yeah. when we were back in the north of the country. Yeah. That was very very tough. Danny, I want to show you Alex. Danny, I want to show you. Ah, Peter McCallaway. Every map I've ever touched tells a story. Yet, some places on the map tug at my heart a bit more, whispering promises of untamed lands and mysteries yet uncovered. Noruk, Noruk. It's with my friend Alex that these stories truly come alive. He isn't just a friend. On the trails in the wild, he's my anchor. Our past adventures, like the unforgiving terrains of Finland, have knitted a bond that's tough to describe. It's trust, mutual respect. It's knowing that when the going gets rough, we've got each other's back. So, when the allure of the Carpathians beckoned, it was impossible to resist. It's not just the thrill of riding or the potential of spotting a bear or wolf. It's the magic of pine-scented forests, the embrace of foggy mornings, and the silent conversations with nature that pull me in. We've been here now for 17 days, 16 days, 17? I don't know, yeah, 20 days. Right, uh, it, it's a long time. So what are we doing? 25 days. We envisioned it to be a dance with the wild, challenging trails and the promise of wild encounters. You see that? The journey, it had its ups and downs, but then true adventures always do, right? The Carpathians, with their unpredictable terrains and shifting moods, taught us to adapt, to relish every moment, rain or shine. This isn't just a ride. It's a chapter in our story. It's introspection at 3,000 feet. It's laughter echoing in the valleys. It's discovering what truly matters. Look at that. All the time we find some spectacular views so it's um, truly worth it so as I gear up for this new tale I invite you to ride with us dive deep into the heart of the Carpathians and perhaps just perhaps rediscover a part of yourself along the way this is our narrative every mile every moment is an adventure waiting to be shared Rewind a bit to December 2022, that's when this whole adventure really began. Although some mops and coffee, Alex and I, we pointed to the Carpathian mountains of Romania and said, that's where we're heading next. She's unreal. Why Romania? Well, such an incredible landscape. Apart from the breathtaking landscapes, it's the bears. Last year we went to Finland and there was this kind of excitement, you know, the, the thrill of encountering them in the wild. It's both exciting and a tad bit, let's say, heart racing. I have just seen my first bear, okay? I've just seen a bear. And you know that Romania has the largest bear population in Europe, in Eastern Europe, like approximately it says 8,000 bears. Fast forward to now, we're here in Paris at La Maison Mécanique. With my teammate Alex, who's supposed to arrive in a minute, is still not here. We're living in a couple of weeks for uh, our expedition in the Carpathian Mountains. So we've got quite a lot of work ahead on the bike since we've received tremendous support from incredible brands that believe in our journey, in our story. 
you've said let's prepare the bike not the day before, but yeah. maybe two or ten days before. Three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> well, two to three weeks before. Right. Good so, idea. so we've got quite a lot of works ahead on the bikes because we have received so many products and accessories that will enhance our riding experience. So we need to install this and we've got uh, probably a couple of days of walking on the bikes. Both bikes are, let's call them, uh, siblings. We've kitted up our beast with a uh, Rothwell performance bars. For example, here we've got the triple clamp. Incredible product. It's going to take us approximately four hours of walk on the bikes. For that edge in performance and aesthetics, my shortened rally fender gives the bikes that, you know, more than rally stems. Right at the heart of the bike is the Pro Edition intake system, an engineering marvel. And with the horsepower gain it offers, smooth rides are the least of it. From the transceiver that shields our transmission to the Van Ash Motorsports key saver, every installation on the bike is a commitment. This is the original and this is the new one. Okay, we'll compare weights. Now for some of my favorite bits, the deal brake pedals and the rally foot pegs total game changers. Especially for the two riders, it's a literal layup. The new brake pedal moves the braking surface towards the rider's foot by some 8mm approximately, which, in my opinion, makes a huge difference when standing up off-road. Rear disc guard from Van Ash, pretty much an amazing product. And it fits, it matches the color of the KTM, it's pretty much awesome, you know what I'm saying, bro? Every element of this box, even down to the uh, rear disc guard, has been thought out. A vibrant fuse of orange to match the KTM and some blues to match uh, the northern of Alex. And there's an, uh, let's say, an expected addition. My note to Romania's wilderness, a bare poor foot then and larger from Perrin Moto. As much for the birds as for stability. But we're going to have lunch and we'll uh, go back to this later. Each piece we fitted, every tweak we made was with one goal to face and embrace what the Carpathian mountains might throw it. What happened to you? Here we geared up, transforming our bikes and turning them into off-road beasts. As the ancient cobblestone streets of Paris buzzed around me, I knelt beside my bike. Every bolt tightened, every gear adjusted. It was a silent promise to the rugged mountains that awaited us, ensuring that once in the Carpathians, it wouldn't just be our spirits that were ready, but our trusty steeds as well. Each part that provided us isn't just a piece of metal or rubber, it's trust, it's supportership, it's an integral part of this adventure. It was a poignant moment of quiet dedication before the roar of the adventure truly began. It all kicked off with our bikes, another than a track in Paris. They embarked on a separate journey to Budapest with a truck carrier while we jetted to Budapest. A two day wait of beating nails, you know, mixing both stress and excitement because are we going to see our bikes again? We are at the airport in Budapest and we can see the car the bikes and that's cool hello <laughs> how are you you good huh? we found the uh, truck and with the bikes inside so that's <laughs> that's the first good news uh, we're going to unload the bikes uh, right much in the middle of the road <laughs> and the thing is we don't have anything to put the bikes down from the truck <laughs> We only got this this tiny stick here. See the tiny stick? <laughs> That's gonna be it, pretty much. Our apprehensions about Eastern Europe swiftly melted away with a hazard free pickup actually. Bikes are running fine. The excitement is palpable. 
But there's always a twist, right? The uh, Collier's hasty deporter was kind of suspicious at first. I mean, the, the guy just left very, very quickly. That was, that was suspicious. It's raining. Uh, very stormy weather. A big storm came upon us, and that might be why the truck carrier left so quickly now that I think about it. We got drenched, waterlogged in minutes. Honestly, that was not our finest hour. We've been here for 20 minutes. But you know what? Nothing could dampen our spirits. And we are so wet. Wet. Very, very good stuff. The ride to a quaint hotel was just the first of our challenges. That's it. I really didn't know what to expect from the delivery services and it was very very good so a big thank you to the guy that uh, did the whole transport to, uh, to, to Budapest. This is very weird. Uh, but very, very good. good. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, we expected something a little bit different in terms of uh, being uh, welcomed in better place. Well, maybe a, a warmer welcome. This is our last dinner in a civilized uh, world. Right. Absolutely. In a city with people around. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. What are you looking at? Uh, the weather. Yeah. Is that rain? I'm not sure. I think. Are you using? Oh, it's Osman, right? I think this is rain, and this is like I probability of raining, and right. this is definitely rain. Right. We woke up early in the day to dry our stuff and pack the bikes because everything was so wet. Uh, before a 400 kilometer stretch to Romania, I'm drying all my stuff, all the soaked wet. But, you know, like adventure has its own it's clock. Just not a thing to... Noir is from Marron. My carpet at time decided to play hard to get. Um, it wasn't charging um, and, you know, like you need the pad pretty much all the time, so it needs to be charging. So I had to remove some plastic parts off of the bike and figure it out before leaving it away. So we've got approximately 450, 400, 450 kilometers to reach the Romanian border. So we learn to use our carpet at times while riding these first kilometers because this is only a highway and we've got pretty much nothing to do. Yet it's raining a lot, it was pouring rain and since we planned to ride mostly off-road we decided not to take our helmet visors but only our masks. And that was pretty much the dumbest idea we've had so far and came the big hurdle, the Romanian border. Where are the border? Waiting for the, the park control. It should have been a routine crossing, but some missing bike registration had other plans. The excitement quickly got replaced by tension. Original, original, the stern officer said at the border. Original? No, um, no original. I've got only copy, copy. And the guy at the border, I mean the officer, he insisted like, no original, no Romania, go back. You know, with this tone of voice, you know, this uh, Eastern Europe accent. No original, no Romania, go back. And you're telling me like I spent months preparing this adventure and I just can't do it? Well, that's a border. So what's next? Going back to Paris, not an option. Mail document, possible bribe, or a sneaky detour. Well, we're adventurers, ain't we? With my sight mic binoculars, uh, what seemed to end was actually just another path forward. And that was almost a relief at this point of time. Trails weaving through fields, we saw hope. Alex and I, we 
consulted, you know, weighing risk and possibilities, but the outcome was adventures are middle lane. With Alex Coleman, my determination, we set forth. With our carpenter pad and um, Osman amp guiding the way, we just didn't falter and moved as quickly as possible. Each meter ridden felt like a mile, every second an eternity. Our nerves taut, our senses heightened. No, à gauche, amène nulle part, ça suit la frontière. On met du temps. Clear on the ground, blending with the shadows, you know, it, our journey is truly starting. But as every off-road enthusiast knows, the thrill is in the challenge. After what felt like forever, welcome to the Dallas Hotel. I never thought a hotel sign could bring so much relief. Like we knew day one in Romania, that was the very first step in Romania was a tale worth telling. But it was only just the beginning. And original, said, original. Yes, I said, need yeah. original. I said, oh. We waited like an hour for the sun to go down a little bit. And we find um, another way. And by magic, <laughs> we arrived in Romania. The but way to sum up yeah. this is that we had enough adrenaline for the day. Yeah, probably. probably. <laughs> the interesting stuff already happened. Now the off-road starts tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Yeah, already. we want to sleep now.